Philip O'Keefe is controlling this computer using only his thoughts. Those movements are all mine. He was diagnosed with motor neuron disease in 2015 and has been slowly losing control of his body. In April, an experimental device the size of a paperclip was inserted through his jugular and implanted next to his motor cortex. It's all about using your brain to control computers. I mean, oh, okay, it sounds pretty, pretty far-fetched and pretty wild. Normally, a person's brain sends small electrical signals that control parts of the body. Those signals are still sent even if the body parts don't work. Developed by the University of Melbourne and the Royal Melbourne Hospital, the device called a stentrode recognises those signals and does something else with them. And we were able to come up with a technology that was able to uh, extract their thoughts and allow them to control computers. Philip O'Keefe is able to click a mouse button by thinking about tapping his left foot. It's just concentration, like riding a bike. You've know, you got to think about it until it becomes second nature. Results published in the Journal of Neurointerventional Surgery show the two patients who've received the implant have both been able to send emails, surf the internet and bank online, all with 90% accuracy. I've been overwhelmed by how much it's changed uh, the life of the two people who've had it implanted. The researchers say this system could be adapted to control any device which is run by a computer. With modern technology, that means the possibilities are almost endless. A robotic limb could be on the cards. It probably won't arrive in time to help Philip O'Keefe, but he's just happy to be part of the project. Those who come behind me will get that benefit. So I'm excited that we can help others. And restoring independence is the help many are craving. Stephen Schubert, ABC News, Melbourne.